Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reviewing Hill City This is Nottingham Forest, last game of the season Let's waste no time, let's get straight into it So yeah, in the end guys, we finished Hull City 1, Nottingham Forest 1 and um, both goals coming after the 90th minute um, You know, Forest obviously getting a penalty after Surridge was pushed or tripped over um, by obviously you, you knew it was going to be Tom Waddleston as soon as it came on you knew he was going to give like a foul away you know obviously we've been a former Derby player and Derby and Forest having you know that rivalry so so yeah um, Brian Johnson takes up takes a penalty scores um, and you know thought that was it um, you know and then Lewis Coyle crosses the ball in and you know, I don't know if KLP gets a touch on it. I've seen a couple of replays and I still don't know. Um, but Louis Coyle will celebrate like he scored. Um, but yeah, it's a goal. We take it um, to get a one-man draw against Forrest. Um, you know, there has been reports of trouble after the game. So I hope, you know, if you're a Hull City fan or Forest fan, um, we did go to the game. I hope you got home okay. Um, we got home okay. Um, there's been reports of you know fights, um, and other Forest fans trying to cause fights too. Um, but yeah, you know, one-one draw, we take that. Uh, you know, even at this at the final day of the season, we take that. Um, but yeah, you know, whole city, we had a few, few good chances. You know, Ali are making that running behind. Lots of times with, you know, if we'd have passed it to KLP, you know, and a couple of them times, you know, we could have been talking about a different score. Um, and funnily enough, just before that Brendan Johnson penalty, um, we had a couple of minutes before, KLP was, Kim Lewis Potter was one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, and he smashed it over the bar, so, you know, if that goes in, then they get a penalty, then we, you know, we could have been talking about win, but I'm not too disappointed I thought we did play all right. Um, Forest, you know, with seven changes, you know, I think you expect them to, you know, get better as the game went on. And they did when they brought Brian Johnson and Sam Surridge on, and Spence came on at the end as well. Um, but yeah, it was a very end to end game. It was very good. Um, you know, it's a shame the season's over, but Hull City have got. You know, championship state ne next season, and that's all I wanted at the start of the season. I've got a new owner too, so you know, positives for the summer. Um, obviously, contracts and that needs to be sorted, and um, yeah, some new signings. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get KLP and uh, Huddleman and you know a few others that are out of contract. Um, but yeah. Um, my man of the match for the game. Uh, I'm going to give it to Ali Ad just because of all the running he did um, and you know, chances he tried to create. Um, but yeah, no, let's go talk to Rads and LGP Forest, Forest fans and let's get their thoughts on the game. How's it going, everyone? Rads here. My review of Hull City 1, Nottingham Forest 1. I don't know how to start after that. Uh, obviously, you know, it, it didn't really mean that much this game and the fact. You guys were already safe and we already had the playoffs, but very interesting game. We made lots of changes. I didn't think it really backfired because I think overall we played very well. Um, but yeah, frustrating because of how it ended. Uh, I thought when we brought Johnson, Surridge and Spence on, we really up to gear and start. Well, we, to be honest, I thought we dominated you uh, all over. You did. Looked dangerous on the counter attack quite a few times. Lewis Potter and Eves, I think it is. Um, I, I thought they were both looked very dangerous going forward, but we defended well uh, overall. Um, and then you know we had so many chances. Really, Surridge with a, a golden opportunity, a few scuff shots really, uh, and yeah, just looking at how we were playing when we had that penalty, which is probably quite a 50-50 penalty really. It, I think it was deserved based on the balance of play. You know, who weren't playing bad, but I think we were the better team overall. 
And yeah, I went pretty mad when we scored that penalty the away end did. It, it meant we were third. It didn't it wasn't a huge, huge goal because like we we still would have got the playoffs regardless, but we would have been third, not fourth. And you know, Forest have to be Forest. That if you you know, as all fans probably watching this, uh that's the most forest thing I have ever seen. Um we did it against Reading in two thousand and twenty. Uh, in yeah, the 1920 season, we scored a brilliant goal from Ben Watson, and then literally immediately conceded a very similar kind of goal, a stupid mistake. I didn't even really see it for playing to watch it back, but it, it was it was so un it's so avoidable. Um, if we had to win to get playoffs, or it was in the regular season, like not the last day, I would have been a lot more annoyed uh, but because ultimately it didn't mean anything. I'm not too upset about it. Uh, it's frustrating, but I'm not too bothered. Um, it would have been nice to have gone into the playoffs with the win, but yeah, I thought you guys did pretty well, but we should have won that. We just should have done. Um, but yeah, it was probably a fair result. But at the same time, I think <laughs> I don't really know what I'm trying to say to be honest. At the same time, I think maybe we probably deserved the win if anyone was going to. But yeah, uh, thanks for having me on, Kieran. Um, Tough result for Forrest to take, good result for Hull, I'd say. And uh, yeah, we're on to the playoffs, and hopefully, he'll have a good season next season with your new owners. I know you're uh, quite ambitious uh, potentially in the transfer market, according to your new owner. So, yeah, hopefully, that is the case for you. And uh, yeah, see you very soon. Got the Reds. Hello, viewers of Kieran's channel. Thank you to Kit for Kieran for allowing me on the channel again. And he's asked me to give me my thoughts on the 1 1 draw between Hall City and Forest. And um, it's a game that didn't have much riding, riding on it. It was just both teams trying to finish the season as strong as possible. Forest trying to carry some momentum going into the playoffs. And I think we're probably the better side. Hall did look dangerous on a couple of counter attacks, but. Yeah, we did make seven changes, so it was. I wasn't expecting like a amazing like four nil win, four nil performance. But um, yeah, I think first off there wasn't really much to chat about for either side, but it really did pick up when we got the penalty, scored the penalty in the ninety second minute, and when that happens, you 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 tend you want to try and maintain that and. And we didn't, and Keane Lewis Potter scored in the 94th minute. So I think we were the better side. We had comfortably more of the ball, comfortably more of the chances. And we should have really won the game. But yeah, it was. It showed a sign of a team that haven't really played with each other because we made seven changes, gave two or three players full, um, full debuts for the club. So yeah, it was always going to be expected that we weren't going to absolutely smash Hull out of the park. And... Yeah, we just now for us move on to the playoffs against Sheffield United. So, yeah, but thank you for caring for allowing me on the channel. Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to Kieran. It's greatly appreciated. And yeah, I'll hand you back over to Kieran. So yeah, guys, um, that was their thoughts. Um, you know, thank you for LGP and Rads for coming back on the channel for this review video. Um, you know, I wish I hope Forest do well in the playoffs. Um, you know. We might see you next season, we might not. Um, you know, playoffs can be crazy, so hope let's see what and they have in store for Forest. Um but yeah, thanks for LJP and Rads for coming on. Um, please make sure you leave a like, comment um, down below. Um you know, if you're a Hull City fan, what's been your best moment of the season? Or if you just like a normal like support someone else then um you know, what do you think about your chances going to next season? And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe as well. And yeah, if you didn't see the channel update video, I will be taking a break from now um, till mid mid June um, time. Um, so thank you guys for all your support over this you know season for the previews and review videos. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, there will be some other videos coming out, but you know, like one every week. You know, could be like a FIFA video. Or like a talk about we'll see video, but you know, not as um yeah, like not one every week, but maybe like one every two to three weeks, if you know what I mean. So stay subscribed and I'll see you soon. I mean come up there. Thank you for watching throughout the season. I'll see you again. Let's start the next season. Let's go.